this is not the new 911 992 that I'm driving in right now, obviously. The fuel for the 992, as you saw there, is still in testing. There's a lot of work to be done. It's due for release at the end of 2019. The model I'm driving right now is the 991.1, so I don't have a great deal of information uh, with regards to the 992, other than to say uh, basic information has landed. You can see the um, the car is, you know, to the purest, you can see where the changes have been made. Whether these will be the final changes or not, uh, obviously it's yet to be announced and it's yet to be confirmed. I suspect they won't be because uh, it doesn't look quite right, but, you know, I understand that they're in the, uh, the testing stages and nothing is confirmed and nothing has been uh, sort of set, set in stone as yet. Um, the most obvious things visually with the car, you can see that the, uh, the bumpers are obviously a lot different. Um, I would expect those to change again. The, there is what appears to be a huge sort of camera in the middle of the bumper. I would also expect that to completely disappear. I don't know whether it's just a, uh, they may well be putting a camera in there, but I, I would expect it to be completely uh, a lot smaller than that. Uh, maybe the camera that they've got in there is just purely for the testing purposes so i can understand that so don't worry too much about that that will disappear um, as you look at the uh, the profile of the car from the rear end and the front end you can see that it does look a bit wider so the rear arches it looks like they're testing the uh, the possibility of having uh, wider arches on the rear but again we don't know whether this is the you know the 911 Carrera we don't know whether it's uh, the, the GTS or any of the, the GT3 variants that they're testing at the moment so it's all a bit uh, sort of iffy and it's all a bit of a grey area and we don't know well but we at least we know uh, some basics like I say you can see the um, the rear windscreen it's got like a big brake light on there that ain't gonna stay there I can tell you that for now and for sure uh, what we do know about the engines is that all of the Carrera models now, they will be turbocharged. So it brings a question, uh, as is the 991.2 by the way, they moved to turbocharged and they moved away from naturally aspirated engines on the 991.2, so that was the 991 facelift. Uh, so the 991 is the version after the 997. If you follow, it's it's difficult to keep up if you don't know the, the models, but um, the, 2000, the, the 2011, 2012 model is the 991 and they refreshed that, I think it was in 2016. Uh, so at the time we're speaking, it's the it's March 2017. So we've got about a year and a half, a year and three quarters to wait until we can actually see any, um, any real life 992s. But as I was saying, they're all turbocharged now. The, they may well move away from a turbocharged engine uh, in the GT3, but what I was gonna say is we don't know whether they will still actually offer a turbo and a turbo S model of the 911. Um, it would seem quite strange to still offer that when all of the Carrera models are actually uh, turbocharged in any way, whether they're gonna be an upgraded turbo version uh, and then an upgraded turbo still version for the S, I do not know. They may well consider bringing the, the GTS model to the forefront more. Uh, so it could be your Carreras, it could be then your GTS, then it could be a GT3, a GT3 RS. So that obviously awaits to be seen. But I'm for one, uh, I'm excited as hell to see what's going to be coming. Um, so yes, yeah, so what I do hope though, and what I what I believe might actually happen is that uh, some of the uh, the GT3 and the GT3 RS, if Porsche have been listening to what the uh, the customers want, they may well. Put a naturally aspirated engine in there and bring back a manual version because the 911R has uh, brought about a massive amount of uh, hype and a massive amount of interest for this vehicle obviously if you've watched any of my previous videos you'll know that um, me you probably nobody has got a chance of uh, oh well when they first came out of the dealership they had absolutely no chance of getting a 911R from the dealer that's basically because they were offered to uh, you know the high profile customers um, all the customers who had previously bought things like the GT uh, the Carrera GT and the 
uh, 918 Spider. So customers who have been loyal to the brand over the years, and they've pretty much bought everything that has ever come out. Those are the people that have had access to the 911R. Um, so to people like me and you who want something like the 911R uh, as a manual car, but haven't been able to get that because the next best thing is the GT3 or the GT3 RS. What I think they'll possibly do now is offer a GT3 or GT3 RS in a manual. So to give you the kind of experience of a 911R, um, but something which is accessible, if you know what I mean. So that's where I think we're going uh, to. Um, we believe that they were thinking also about a... Um, what am I going to say? They were thinking about putting in a, bringing the the uh, the engine forward more uh, by about an inch or so, and possibly placing it sort of slightly in front of the wheels, which would obviously then turn this into a, a mid-engine car, which is not what Porsche are looking for. Porsche already have that market covered with the uh, the Cayman and the Boxster. And obviously, of course, if you were to do that in 911, it would completely eradicate the rear seats. Um, so, me personally, I've got Monster the Monster in the back seats. I've got a child seat in the other seat. So, I use these seats. Um, my three-year-old sits in the back of this car with absolutely no problem whatsoever. And he loves this car. So, but don't worry, that's, that's just what they were thinking about. They're not actually going to do that. Um, it was just on their ideas board, if you like. Uh, and a pricing for the 992, something that we're not entirely sure about. One thing we do know for sure is that the price of this car will be higher than the current 911. Um, with true Porsche, um, if they're true to form and true to their the previous uh, sort of next generation cars, they're always going to cost more. So the 991.2, uh, I believe, is. Is it 82 or 80, 88,000, something like that? Pounds, that is, UK pounds. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's either 82 or 88. Um, but expect it to be in and around that area. So if if it's currently 82, expect it to be about 85. Um, if it's 88, then expect it to be about 91. Something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely super excited. Uh, we expect them to unveil the car at the 2019 uh, Frankfurt Motor Show, which is in the, uh, I think it's in the autumn, that one. Um, if they do, or wherever they release it, or wherever they show it for the first time, I will be there. Um, I normally go to Geneva, which is where they showed the 911R for the first time last year. Uh, but unfortunately, due to work commitments, I'm not able to get there this year, so that's, a little bit disappointing for me but I don't I don't really think I'm going to be missing anything too spectacular we know that the, uh, the Porsche Panamera Tur Turismo it's kind of like an estate car uh, we believe that will be there uh, but in any case I'll just have to wait till that goes to my local dealer and I'll uh, get a few videos and a bit of information on that and probably do a video log on that uh, so I can't wait for the new 992 I can't wait to get a test drive uh, even though I don't actually own a 991.2. Uh, the 991.1 to a 992 would seem like the uh, the best step up because the 991.2 hasn't got long to go, and it would by the time I was to put an order in for anything like that, the chances are the you know the the 992 would be within touching distance. So um, any new orders for 911s, they're going to completely be on hold until we look at the new 992 um, but as I say I will certainly be uh, thrombing at the bit to get a get a test drive of that car and who knows maybe even put an order in we'll see so um, that's it for now just a quick check in um, as I say I don't really have a great deal of information the information that I've got is the, is the same information that all of the other uh, agencies have so as soon as we get some more information then obviously I'll uh, I'll make a video on that but I'll see you next time thanks for watching